Hi there, welcome back to Repair Law Most for Profit. Just thought I'd film a quick video just to let everyone know that I, I'm fine and everything like that. I've had loads of messages recently saying, where have you gone? Not heard from you for ages, but, <coughs> excuse me. Um, basically, I've been uh, busy doing uh, lots of other things. Nothing's happened to me, everything's uh, okay, family life and everything like that. So, just been today actually just doing some uh, some service work on a car better on my Yamaha jog, but more wise, I'll be honest, I've not done many at all, I've done a few. But um, I'm just not finding the time to do um, the amount of mows that I used to do and film the videos now, especially with kids getting older. So just a quick video. Um, if I do get some in this summer, obviously I will film them. I'm not closing the channel or anything like that, but I'm just going to be honest, I'm not doing as many as I did. I've got a couple of mowers in here at the minute. Um, I've just been having a look at my bike. Just a quick video really to say that I'm okay. And uh, basically, I've just not had time to do the videos. Um, so a quick update. I'll just show you around here. I have actually got a mower in as well. It's got a bent blade on the bottom of here. But it's been sat there, I'll be honest, it's been sat there months. I've got my own there and I've had this, uh, I've had my Yamaha jogging bits today and I actually made a bit of a schoolboy error. I just finished tidying up out here actually. It's quite a nice day today. I'm trying to get my grass a little bit better as well. Must be getting old. Um, I actually made a mistake today. I just want to show you this. Um, I actually took the carburetor apart and I couldn't get the bike running again properly. Let me just find this photograph and I'll show you what I mean. Um, I had a real, real carry on with it. I took the carburetor off it, and you can see here. Um, I took it all off it, I painted all the panels upon this again and tidied it up a little bit by the way. And I, I got the carburetor back on it and I got the air filter box back on and everything. And the fuel in it was a bit of a mess so... I sort of drained some of it out and put a bit of fresh in, but this has been, uh, my fuel thing around here has been sat there for quite a while as well, and it doesn't tend to last long, and I, I was beginning to think that was the cause of the bike, basically it just wouldn't accelerate properly like you get with mowers, uh, it was bogging down every time I let go of the throttle to stop at a junction, it basically just cut out, so I noticed, as I, as I take it around the streets, I take this bottom panel off here, I just take this bottom white panel off here, and I can adjust the mixture and the idle screws, on this I can just about get to them if I take my crash helmet off and look through these gaps here I can actually see the screws but I noticed that the uh, the mixture screw I will set it with a, a little screwdriver that I've got I've got to keep them in my box here. I've just got all my bits here so I was actually I actually considered selling this bike at one point because I want a Honda Vision so I used to have a Honda Vision but I keep a couple of screwdrivers in here just in case anything happens I break down I need to alter anything so what I was doing is I was adjusting this uh, mixture screw and looking through the gap and it was right okay for a, a corner or two and then I looked again and it kept bogging down and cutting out did the bike and it's all sort of relative to mowers a little bit is this which made me think about doing a video I couldn't understand it but the screw, I noticed that the screw I'd sort of move it out of the, the casing of the carburetor about that far and then I'd look about a minute later and it'd have, it'd have wound itself right back in the casing so just reminded me now, I've just been around the back of here, I've actually got two spare um, I can't see for all these grass boxes, look at all these here um, i actually got two spare motors around the back of there, so I pulled the carburetor off just to check, I, I, I vaguely remember there used to be a spring so a bit of a schoolboy error, but basically if I can get a focus on this here, I'll show you what I didn't have let me find this I had that part on the bike I was screwing this in here, and obviously I was just getting it to where I normally put it, which is about a turn and three quarters out. So this this side of it normally just protrudes out the carburetor, so I can see these three um, these three parts sticking out. And what I didn't have, when I noticed, was the spring. I must have taken it out. I think it was about a year ago, so it's not ridden really well for about a year. So I took a, a motor out from around the back of the garage, took this uh, this mixture screw out, and I couldn't believe it. There was a spring in it, so I swapped the spring over. And put it in my carburetor that's on the bike that I've just cleaned it all out, I've just serviced the carb on it and the fuel lines and stuff and it, honestly it rides so well, which of course it will. So, um, school by error on my half, but if anyone doing mowers this year, it's still a really good profitable business if you've got the time to do this. But um, just another little tip really, if I, can, if I can just leave this with you, 
don't do what I did make sure if you've never done it before particularly if you've never done it before just take pictures of everything everybody's got a mobile phone these days if you're not sure where things go especially little screws and things like that just take loads of pictures and put it back together I'm actually going to get this out now I'm just going to go cut my grass because I've only done it once this year and it's, uh, it's getting a little bit long but yeah just a real short video anyway just to say hello um, I think I'm not being rude and uh, yeah I'm fine everything's fine it's great for so many people to get in touch and say where's the vids mate but it's not always practical especially with kids growing up they're nine and seven now they're sort of out every night they've got something after school and uh, things like that but uh, my DVD sales are still going really well people still buy them I still get loads of great comments and things like that saying wow well, you know I've, I was going to skip this and I've got it working but if I get any mowers in I will promise you I will film them and I'm sure we'll get back to doing this at some point but for someone who was just discovering the channel this really is a, a profitable little business to get into you just need a little bit of time a little bit of knowledge most of which isn't you don't really need it on the DVD a lot of it is on YouTube now to be honest with you just go through the videos on there and uh, any advice or any more in-depth thing you can have a look at a DVD or send me uh, a message message wise on YouTube I'm a nightmare I have my phone I get a message it says so and so's messaged you about part 73 of repairing almost for profit saying this so I'll click it it'll take me to YouTube and I can't find it I don't know how to reply very good I do sometimes when it works it out on the computer but sorry I really try I really do but uh, um, thanks for all your messages and I will uh, film some vids as I get some things in if you want anything else filming while I'm around here just uh, drop me a, a message below this video well thanks for all your concern but nothing's uh, nothing's wrong it's been uh, been a, an eventful winter and we're getting into some nice weather now so anyone who's repairing for profit this year and you're looking to save up a, a few pounds for yourself the very best of luck and you can do a lot worse than starting off here see you later